We've got some weird transition words in this question too. So let's just dive into the passage and see what we get. When one looks at the dark, craggy vistas in Hitoshi Fugo's evocative photo series, one's mind might wander off to the cratered surfaces of faraway planets. It's the series title, Flying Frying Pan, that brings one back to Earth, reminding the viewer that each photo is actually a close-up view of a familiar household object, a frying pan. So my gut here actually wants this to be a butt situation. I, I kind of feel like they're saying, okay, you, when you look at these things, you're, you're going off to some faraway place, these cratered planets or whatever, but it's the title that brings you back to Earth, right? It feels a little bit like a contrast. Now, alternatively is a butt word, but it is not the correct butt word. It's a little bit of a, like a, a butt plus here because it has an extra little meaning that we have to pay attention to. In order for, just think of the word, the origin of the word, alternative. An alternative is kind of an alternate path, another like choice that we have. So uh, you might say like, um, I'm gonna have a sandwich for lunch. Alternatively, I could have um, a taco, right? So we, we have two choices ahead of us. That's not really what's happening here. These aren't two paths, these aren't two choices. It's kind of the same thing, just from two different perspectives. So alternatively is not a good fit here. That might be something that is hard to uh, figure out if you're not a native English speaker. In fact, the entire reason I have these transition categories in my strategy is to not have to think about the nuances of words, but yes, sometimes the questions are hard and we need to think about the nuances of the words and it does not fit here. Consequently is a so, we can test that out. Um, when one looks at these things, one's mind might wander to the cratered surface of faraway planets. So it's the series title that brings us back to Earth. Well, that, that doesn't seem right. I mean, I, like I said, we kind of do want some sort of contrast. So being brought back to Earth doesn't seem like an effect of thinking about the planets. Those seem like opposite things. So so doesn't really fit here. And this is a case where I do think categorizing the word helps me understand uh, whether that's a good fit. Now, additionally is just and. And that might fit. And, and that's the thing, and is barely a transition at all. But the rule with the and words is we can only pick them if everything else fails. So we've got to choose ultimately, which is also a weird transition word that normally I say we only really pick those if everything else fails. So we've got a bit of a problem here, but ultimately is a word that has a little bit more meaning. So we should check that first. Um, maybe it just sounds good. Let, let's see here. Uh, when you look at these things, one's mind might wander off to the cratered surfaces of faraway planets. Ultimately, it's the title that brings one back to Earth, reminding the viewer that each photo is actually a frying pan, right? So to me, that does sound pretty good. It's, it's hard for me to define the word ultimately. Now, in a normal sense, the word ultimate kind of means final, like the ending thing, the, you know, the ultimate answer is the final answer. So uh, it, it, why would there be time involved here, right? Why, why are we saying it's not like a first, second, third kind of situation, but ultimately can also be kind of like, um, in the end is maybe the best way to put this. So like almost, almost like finally, but, but not quite. Uh, so what's happening here is it's kind of like our mind is brought somewhere else, but ultimately we're brought back to earth, right? Where our mind is brought to planets far away. Ultimately we are brought back to earth when we realize it's a frying pan. Um, in the end, it's not faraway planets. It's kind of, I think, what they're trying to say. Uh, so that is the answer, and it doesn't necessarily mean that I've proven D wrong. It just means that C is a better fit. Um, I guess the reason is it's not like an additional point. It's a continuation, and that's just part of the game of these transition questions is like, I don't think it would be wrong to say D here if this were like writing an essay, but we, we need the best one. And then there are kind of rules and hierarchies about what gets picked first. Uh, if you got this wrong, I wouldn't stress over it, but I do think that some of the hardest questions near the end of a reading section are gonna be transition questions and knowing these words and being comfortable with them is part of it. So keep practicing these, I'll keep making videos, and hopefully that means you can start to experience all of the wide variety of transition words that there will be. But most of these questions will involve the main four transition categories and words like ultimately that have like a weird meaning won't often be the right answer, but uh, sometimes they are.